I'm going to use this category four hot pink yarn. Um, I'm going to try it out in the camera first. I might end up switching colors because this is kind of bright. So we're going to start off with our slip knot. If you are a beginner, I do have an absolutely beginner's tutorial that will show you how to make all of your basic stitches. Um, it also has abbreviations as well to help you out. Uh, so when you learn how to read a pattern. So we're going to start off with our chain. And I'm going to make a chain of an uneven number of chains. For my beginner to make your chain, just go ahead and yarn over. And pull your hook through that first loop that's already on the hook. So I'm going to make a chain of 30 chains. We need to start off with an even number of chains. So once I have my 30 chains, I will come back. I'm probably going to end up changing colors, but we will see. I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm ha I'm really skeptical about this yarn and this camera, you guys. It's so bright that my camera can't seem to grasp seam stitches. So we're going to keep going for a second. Your loop on your hook does not count as a single crochet. So you're going to skip your first stitch and go into your next chain with a single crochet. So again, skip the first stitch. And go into the next stitch with a single crochet. And you're just going to make your single crochets going all the way across. This is your foundation row, the beginning of your row, just to give it a nice little edge as you're going along. I'm going to go ahead and change out these colors because this pink is just not working. I'll be back. Okay, so this is much better. I'm going to use my um, category for carry on soft. And it's a teal color, I think. So this is so much better in the camera. You can now see it. Um, I really like that pink, but it's just too bright for the camera. My jumper is going to be that color. So I'm probably going to have to make the tutorial in a different color and then just show you the results at the end. So continue making your single crochets all the way across. And I will meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of the row, and I have my 30 single crochets, I'm sorry, 29 single crochets going all the way across. Go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now, with my half double crochets, I only chain one. The standard is to chain two, but I don't like that lump on the side, so I chain one. Go ahead and skip that first stitch and go into the next stitch with two half double crochets. There's one and there's two. So now go ahead and skip the next single crochet and go into the next single crochet with the two half double crochets. And that is your um, your first row of your two row repeat or your two half double crochets into every other stitch. Now your work should not curl up because even though you are putting two half double crochets into one stitch, you are skipping a chain. You're, you're skipping a single crochet before you make those two half double crochets. So that compensates for you skipping that, um, for you skipping a single crochet, having two half double crochets in one stitch. So it should not curl up. So I'm going to keep making my half double crochets going across in the next one. Go ahead and skip that next stitch. And in the next stitch, make two half double crochets. And just repeat this all the way across until you get to the end. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're at the end of the row now. And in that last and final single crochet that you have there at the end, go ahead and make a half double crochet. Just one half double crochet into that stitch there in that single crochet and go ahead and chain one. So now once you've chained one, go ahead and turn your work. And now we're going to continue along with our prairie stitch. This is the second row of the two row repeat. And so this is why I do not chain two with a half double crochet because that chain one gives me a nice clean edge. 
So now once you've made your chain one and turned your work, go ahead and begin with putting a single crochet into that first stitch and one single crochet into each of the stitches from the previous row and make one single crochet across. So I'm going to continue making my single crochets across. Um, remember, make sure that you have, when you get to the end of the row, you have 29 single crochets. If you have too many, then you've made too many chains or you've made too many half double crochets in that second row there. And you would have to frog that out and start over again. You must start with an even number of chains because that second chain, that uh, additional two chains are your turning chains. So that is why you make 30 half double crochets. I'm sorry. Yeah, 30 chains and then you're going to skip the first stitch. Sorry, not skip two. Skip the first stitch. So I'm going to keep making these single crochets all the way across and I'm going to meet you on the other end and have an, uh, a bigger swatch. So continue making your single crochets across and I will be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and now you see that it looks like there's a stitch there that is not a stitch. You're going to go into the chain stitch that you made from the previous row with a single crochet. Look at that nice lined up edge there. My single crochets and this is the other end. So now you just keep making your prairie stitch along. See how it's nice and lined up on the sides. I think it's terrible when you have that bulge sticking out. It's very unsightly. <laughs> so uh, now what we're going to do is go back into with into the stitches with our half double crochets going across. So go ahead and chain one again and turn your work. And just like before, you're going to skip that first stitch and go into the next stitch with two half double crochets. And again, just like row two, you make two half double crochets, skip one, and make two more half double crochets into the next stitch. So skip that next stitch and go into the next stitch with two half double crochets. And that is your two row repeat. So after you've done this row of two half double crochets into each stitch, you're going to make another row of single crochets and just do that back and forth until you have the swatch as big as you want. So I'm going to keep making these chains. I'm going to keep making my single crochets all the way across. And then we're going to meet you at the other end. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the row. And again, into that last stitch, that chain, you want to make a half double, I'm sorry, a single crochet to end off that row. Did I do a half double crochet? I did, I'm sorry. We were in that row where we were making our two half double crochets. So when you get to the end, make sure you make that half double crochet into that chain stitch. I'm going to keep going with my stitches. This is the front. And if you're a regular crocheter, you can, you'll be able to distinguish between the front and the back. But you see all of those half double crochets there going across and your single crochet going across and again you can use any size hook you want so i'm going to go ahead and make a bigger swatch and i'll be back okay so now we're back and this is my larger swatch i'm going to remove this hook here so you can see what i have going on as you can see you can see those half double crochets going across and your single crochets going across as well so just keep practicing this, practice, practicing this stitch <laughs> and you'll get good at it. It'll get better. It's very easy. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tai Handmade Crochet. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye.